Hi, Amedeo Beretta here and in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to install Red9 Studio Pack which is a collection of free tools that you can use to speed up your workflow with anim in animation. Um, there is a paid for version of the pack and there's a free version. I'm going to show you how to install the free version which is good enough for what we need to do. And uh, you will find it on uh, at red9consultancy.com and there you will find the Red9 Studio Pack which, you, which will have a link to GitHub and you can download it from GitHub. Now I will put the uh, link to the GitHub page on my on the comments on uh, on the um, on, on the information underneath this video. So now what I want to do is I want to show you why it would be useful to have this tool installed in your Maya. So let's say that we have a pose of a walk cycle, and this is our contact pose. And now we need another contact pose, say and at frame 13 for instance and we need the contact pose to be the opposite with red 9 once you train the tool to recognize your rig you can just mirror the pose and you have the pose done for you it works just like that and now uh, let me just uh, do it again with auto key so that now you see the difference and now if I I already did my contact pose with just one click so I don't have to go in there and manually mirror stuff anymore so that's why Red9 could be very useful. It also has a number of other features like a post manager and animation uh, import export features, so a mirror animation features. So it has some very cool features for animation, but this is mainly why we want to install it uh, in this uh, tutorial. So let's go ahead and see how we install it. So I go to the Red9 consultant, red9consultancy.com webpage. Under production tools, you will find Red9 Studio Pack. And in there, they will mention that GitHub is the place where you can find Red9. I will click on the link, go to GitHub, and in there you can download, just download the zip of the uh, Red9 tools. Now let's see what's the content of that zip and how to install it. So here's the zip I downloaded from the uh, GitHub page of Red9. And what I can do is I can extract the uh, package there and go find the folder. And into this folder, you will find there is a, another folder named Red9 Studio Pack Master. It contains all this stuff. What we need to do in here, we just need to rename this Red9 Studio, Mac, uh, Studio Pack Master to Red9 and that's it just that's that's just the name we want and then we need to copy this thing into our script folder in maya so if i go into um into my documents i will find uh, the maya folder that's where preferences are contained in maya and in there i will find uh the folder tw the for the scripts and this is where i'm going to uh paste red nine so I'm going to grab my Red9 folder and just drop it there under the scripts folder. There you go. And that's it. Now if I open up Maya 2019, I need to check what's the way to load Red9. And the easiest way to do it is to go back into the Red9 folder and in there, there should be something, some instructions on how to install. In fact, it's under installer. If you open up the how to readme.txt, in there you will find the command line that you need to execute in Maya. It's called, you see, it's launch the, pa launch the pack, that's the comments. And these are the two lines that you need to um, execute. So I'm going to copy them, going back into Maya. And on the, on the bottom right corner of the screen, you see this little box with the semicolon and the two curly brackets. I will click on it and that's the script editor. The script editor is a tool that lets you run scripts in Maya and we are going to go into the python tab actually i'm going to make a new python tab and i'm going to click on python there and i'm going to paste that script now i'm just going to remove the empty spaces sorry the empty spaces at the beginning of each line because i just don't need that stuff and this one script i can select and middle mouse drag on my custom shelf now if i click on that script now the Red Studio 9 should be running and in fact above here you see there's a menu there saying Red 9 and if I op open the animation toolkit in there I have the Red 9 tools installed. So if I open up the same rig I've, I had earlier on demonstrated at the beginning of the video just a second there you go if I select the uh, control curves in there and I click on mirror pose I can now mirror the pose. Of course Red9 will not, will not recognize any given rig. You have to train Red9 to um, 
to mirror a given rig, but it's a procedure that takes that takes only a few minutes, and I'm going to make a tutorial about that in the future. So have fun.